and welcome back it's been a while since we've done a solar update video so i wanted to put this out there to let you know that work is still progressing uh, and if you remember the previous videos we were assembling our headway packs and what this is is meant to be uh, an homage or the ability to pay some respects to those that came before us and by that I mean um, all the countless individuals who have shared their knowledge about taking apart modem packs and laptop battery packs and such and getting the 18650 cells out and using that to create their power wall packs. So I thought it would be a nice, kind of a neat idea uh, to kind of do the same thing with headway cells. So uh, just to recap that these cells were bought used from battery hookup. Uh, we have 160 cells here, about 160 cells, uh, put into the packs you see here, and each cell was um, discharged and recharged. We capacity tested each one. Uh, some came in at 6 amp hours. A lot of these, even though they were used, still tested at their factory 8 amp hours. And uh, headway cells are really good for very high capacity uh, discharges, very high rate discharges. And the original thought behind these cells, um, not only to kind of try this out, was to also potentially add this into the solar system for the house. And we're going to change that up a little bit. Uh, we've got a separate 48 volt inverter. And it will be actually be doing some load testings, um, load testing, excuse me, uh, on these particular packs and see what these headway cells can do uh, with the particular inverter that we have picked out. Now, with the original intent being that we were going to add this to the solar system slash battery system of the house, and the reason why we've kind of changed in on that is in a previous video, you saw us add this garage sub panel um, into the sub panel that runs the solar system for the house. Now, that gives us the ability to now take the power loads for the garage and utilize our solar potential. Uh, to power that rather than grid power. So with that being said, one of the things we need to do to the house system is upgrade the capacity from what we have now. Currently we have a mixture of 180 amp hour Caleb cells, 100 amp hour fortune cells, and some additional 145 amp hour cells. Uh, so all in all total, counting all the strings together, we have about 105, I'm sorry, 515 amp hours capacity for the house. Now, we've run our house system off of lithium iron phosphate for right about a, not quite a year at this point. And now that we've added the garage, and the garage also comes with its own heat pump slash air conditioner that you can see there. Uh, we are needing to, that's why we need to add more capacity. Uh, what we typically do, and we have an Outback Radiant Inverter, 8,000 watt, which has a very nice key feature in it, and that being it will blend solar power that we can generate as well as utility power together, meaning what we do is if, if, if it's during the day and we, don't have, uh, and we have less than great sun, we can still pull everything we can off solar and make up the difference with grid. Now, the reason for the bigger battery bank capacity is that in the evening hours, we do run the house off the home system, at least a percentage of it. We want to increase that percentage. We want to try to run as much as we can off that battery bank without depleting it to an uncomfortable level, or at least uncomfortable for me, and then be able to recharge and power the house the next day. Uh, so with that being said, we have 515 amp hour capacity. Uh, we have watched others demo these 280 amp hour cells, either uh, Eve or Lycian, if I've said that correctly. And two of the individuals that I watch, one is Off Grid Garage, he's in Australia. Another one, which is Lithium Solar, have made the plunge and purchased these 280 amp hour cells. We have decided to do the same uh, based on their experiences with ordering those cells from Alibaba. We have placed our order and that order is shipped. 
we have 32, 33, we have 36 280 amp hour cells. We'll be making two strings of 16 and getting those out of the box, prepped, top balanced, and then eventually putting those into the battery bank for the house. The existing cells that make up the battery bank today will be pulled out of the service. We will take the Fortune 100 amp hour cells, re-top balance those, get them, I don't want to say reconditioned, but get them ready to put back into the battery bank with the 280 amp hour cells we're getting ready to receive. So we will be taking some of that existing battery bank and re either repurposing it or retiring the cells. And, and we'll get to videos and why we've made the decisions to keep what we want to keep and you know the rest will become testing or, or will be recycled. Uh, but have no fear, uh, we will video and document those Alibaba cells as they come in. You'll see them when the boxes arrive to unboxing. So you'll get to see, as we see, the condition of those cells, how they capacity test, getting them prepped and adding to the existing system. Now, I've come up with an idea for how we're going to take the battery packs and hook them up to the main bus bars for the battery system in the house. I don't want to spoil it for you, uh, so you'll, you'll see that video when it comes out, uh, but uh, I, I think you might like it. And as you can see here, we have um, just a little laptop, uh, little bench power supply there that we'll be using to top balance those new cells when they come in. A couple of iChargers X8s that will be used for capacity slash testing. I'm sorry. Uh, top balancing, charging, testing as well, external resistor bank that we use with the eye charger to help us with uh, doing the capacity testing. Uh, we'll also take that 48 volt inverter we were talking about earlier, do some testing with that. We do have a DALI uh, 48 volt um, lithium iron phosphate uh, 16S um, BMS coming in that we will be using with this pack when we get around to doing the uh, playing around with it as well as uh, being able to capacity test those 280 amp hour cells. Now what you see over here was an order of cells that we got for a pretty good deal. And after they came in, I've elected not to go with them. Uh, they are 100 amp hour cells. And when I purchased them, to be fair, the individual selling them did say they only tested around 95 to 98 amp hours. And initially that was fine with me. But when the cells came in, you can see a lot of gouging and pitting, things of that nature on the terminals. Uh, but the biggest issue is these two cells here, you see here, are relatively flat. Just a little bit of a gap, which is generally kind of what you want to see when you're ordering your cells types in like this. But you'll notice here in the back, those two cells have a pretty good gap, which means one of those two cells have enough of a bulge. It's causing a noticeable gap and you'll notice they're not sitting flat like these two cells are here. So, and that happens throughout the 32 cells you see here, as well as some of these cells on the outside have other issues with the wrapping um, and some other items that are cosmetic. Some are cosmetic, some are not. And, Again, just after in inspecting all of these, I don't feel comfortable with them. I'm not going to use them in the house system. Um, I won't be using them for testing either. If I can't think of something else to do with them, more than likely what's going to happen is that these will just be taken down to a disposal center and properly disposed of. But just let that be a lesson to you that, you know, be careful what you're, what you're getting online. And speaking of online, the reason why we decided to go with Alibaba for the cell purchase uh, was you can get 280 amp hour cells online. But a lot of places that have those, the cost they want per cell, in my opinion, just for the sake of getting them from a U.S. supplier and a little bit faster shipping, does not warrant the additional increase in cost per cell. Uh, from what I've seen from others who've ordered from Alibaba, the cells come in very well protected and they're testing 
um, at or slightly above the, the cell's rated capacity. So again, we will document that for ourselves. We'll hopefully we have the same experience of others purchasing from these same suppliers, but we'll get all that to, we'll, we'll get to all that when those come in. But I just want to give you an update and let you know that progress is still being made. If you don't see a solar update video on the channel, you may see other update videos, such as what we're doing, the modifications and dress up items that we're doing for the Hellcat, as well as we also have plans to pull in the 2500 RAM that we have, which is already running a pro charge supercharger. And we'll be doing a cam swap and things of that nature to that vehicle as time progresses. Uh, also, when it gets warmer outside from the solar front, we'll be adding an additional uh, 2,000 watts of solar panels to the existing solar system, again, to help with being able to run the loads in the summer months, running the two air conditioners, one here, again, one in the house, and to be able to help recover that rather large battery bank uh, that we hope to have here in a little bit. And when we get to all that, uh, obviously, we'll be filming all that, kind of showing you how we handle it, how we tackle some of the obstacles um, that will come with that. Uh, but other than that, this is just uh, hopefully was a, well, not, not necessarily a quick update, but uh, we shall chat you later. Bye.